Maine police officer is back at work two days after he hit a woman in a wheelchair with his cruiser. Good evening once again. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Pam Elliott has new information about the incident and the victim whose mother is still in shock. It just, it, it just freaks me out uh, to the point that I know my daughter was laying out there, you know, in the street, hurt. Dorothy Dansby's daughter, 50-year-old Donna Siege, was hit Tuesday when she was trying to make her way to a gas station she routinely visits in her motorized wheelchair. We were back at the scene when we met a man who only wanted to give his first name. David witnessed the crash. She was waiting on the corner of James Jason McGee and Second. She looked both ways and she crossed when she, I mean, tried to cross. When she got to the first white line, that's when we heard a uh, and uh, boom. A Dayton patrol officer and his cruiser hit Siege. Police say he was responding to a call without the use of lights and sirens. David told us it appeared the officer was driving too fast. Dayton police say what happened here was a significant incident. And so far, their investigation shows that the officer involved did not violate any laws or procedures. And they're talking about it wasn't a crosswalk. It had to be if they put a, a ramp there to come down. It was a preliminary investigation shows that he was going 36 or 37 miles an hour. Uh, it's a 40 mile an hour zone there. We don't have anything right now to indicate that the officer did anything inappropriate. Um, again, our Internal Affairs Bureau was called out there just to make sure since it involves a police cruiser, we want to make sure and, and make sure there's a, a thorough and impartial investigation going on. She was seriously injured. And so, uh, you know, we want to do our best to make sure that everybody has confidence in the investigation. It got, took her spleen out. And then she has two broken ribs. Her pelvic, we learned the next day, her pelvic bone is broken. And I learned this morning, her foot may be broken. And I don't really know her like that. I don't really talk to her or anything, but the lady did look both ways in her wheelchair. And I think her wheelchair saved her life. But what kind of life will she now have? That's what worries her family. She already suffers from MS, and that's why she uses the wheelchair. She's hurting. She's in bad shape. Pam Elliott, 2 News on your side.